An investigation finds the largest ever security breach by Israel in Qatar and the Arab world. Experts say Qatar is expected to drive up electric vehicle sales. Argentina's World Cup fans are honored as a new residential complex opens in their name. And finally, Al Malkhia have signed a brand new Gambian attacker for the upcoming season. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. An open source intelligence platform has unveiled a damning investigation highlighting a major security breach by Israel. In its probe, ECAD said Israel used two digital investment companies registered in the UAE to target and hack devices of Arab users. The investigative unit traced its findings backed by investment companies Evest and Mr. Market Pro, all of which appeared on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. It said the ads implanted advanced programs that are difficult to detect and collect information from the compromised device. For the entire report, head over to our website. Now, analysts say while Qatar's passenger electric vehicles remain nascent, there is an expectation of strong growth and adoption in the next seven years. They said they expect an average annual sales growth of around 48% year-on-year between 2024 and 2032. The figures come just a week after Qatar unveiled its first ever electric vehicle brand, Vim. A new neighborhood project has been announced in Qatar and it is aptly named in honor of the vibrant Argentine World Cup football fans. The new residential area is a fully integrated city project for workers in al the neighborhood hosted thousands of fans during the FIFA World Cup last year and became a hotspot for Argentinians. And finally, Al Marchia is kicking ahead with preparations for the upcoming 2023-24 Qatar Stars League season by signing a brand new forward to the squad. Gambian international striker Yusufa Ng signed a two-year contract with the Qatari club, moving to Doha from Portuguese football club Bovista. The contract does have an option to extend for a further season, with Yusufa looking forward to play in the country that hosted the best World Cup, according to him. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.